the markets continue to hit all-time record highs. My name's D7 here at Grok Trade. This is the weekend edition. Get to Sunday, December 11th, 2016. And on Friday, the markets in the day bullish, 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 bullish. Crude oil up over 1%. Gold down 1%. Silver down 1%. VIX increasing by 7 or decreasing by 7%. Decreasing by 7%. Fear drying up. However, I have some warnings for you coming up here as we get looking at the stocks. Before I do, I want to say this. The whole reason I've been doing daily trading videos since, get this, 2004. I was the first person in the world to start doing daily trading videos. They got very popular over in the UK, brought them here to the US. And today we still are going very strong. Now, why do I do this? It's not for my health. I have my own account that I trade. Don't need to do trading videos. I do that to be in contact with you. The purpose of wanting to be in contact with you is for the hope that you will one day trust me and my company, Grok Trade Enough, to mentor you. We don't say this lightly. The reason I don't have a book out there is because a book's not going to help you. reason I don't do a lot of seminars and webinars is because seminars and webinars are not going to help you. What helped me was a mentor, and what will help you is a mentor. And we do lifelong mentoring, but here's the deal, guys, before I get into the technicals. We are raising rates 31% January 1st. January 1st, our mentor, mentoring fees go up 31% across the board we this weekend are doing our last 2016 mentoring however i'm gonna i'm gonna open it up one last chance if you want in and you want to secure the 2016 rates if you do it before tuesday this tuesday contact us at mentor at groctrade.com Say you you want to get your reservation in now so you can take the mentoring going into January, February, coming up at at a big discount, 31% discount, you can do so. Mentor at grogtrade.com. All right, now let's get into this. All right, uh, big news here. I mean, uh, if you, we've had 14 back-to-back -back record closes on the Dow. 14, and that's since the election. The market has gone up 8% since the election. I mean, the Dow's up 8%. Small caps are up over 15%. Financial stocks are up over 13%. Just huge, huge, huge move in the markets. Here are the spiders going higher. I'm going to do the dailies and then weeklies and then monthlies on all these Diamonds, let's go here. Look at that. The Dow, boom, to the upside. We're knocking at the door at 20,000. I mean, another 250 points, we will be at 20,000 level. That is a huge psychological level. And I think that we have a really good chance of getting there. But I think that I have some serious concerns, and I'll share those with you here momentarily. But uh, again, all major moving edge, um, average or uh, in, indices are hitting record highs very very strong uh boom nasdaq look at this symmetric triangle boom going up higher 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 small caps small caps boom i got a sideways uh arrow here here's why you've not seen a sideways before i think we're going to build a high base here or or we're going down we're up up up, up. like look at this see how we went down 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 we get a doji up 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 we get a doji down, down, down. That's what should happen. Doji is a reversal pattern, is a point of indecision. I think we have a pretty good chance of going sideways here, but it could be down. Small caps will lead the direction a lot of times of the markets. Banks, here are the banks. Up, 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 up. Look at this line that I have drawn here. Uh, we are so strong to the upside that things that go up fast drop fast. We have gone up very, very fast. There's a tight line here. I think that we have a good chance of dropping very soon. Financials daily, same thing. We've gone up fast. Things that go up fast drop fast. 
it could be a big time profit taking day showing up on Monday, maybe Tuesday, but it might just happen on Monday, a big profit taking day. I think that will happen. Matter of fact, I unloaded a lot of my longs on Friday just to be just in case the markets will drop. But what you'll see is a big drop and maybe people buying back up aggressively um, at those good prices. And the um, let's go back to the spiders. I am going to show you the weeklies now, okay? The weekly on the S&P 500. Boom, up, 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 and away. Here are the Dow, look at this. Boom, up, 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 blasting through resistance, closing at the week's high. NASDAQ is the problem. NASDAQ hit a major trend line, a major trend line. <clears throat> That could be resistance, that could be trouble, that could be a rising wedge ready to break down because we do have a bearish divergence here on the MACD. I mean, I'll tell you, we it does not look good on tech stocks. Small caps looking really good, boom, and broke resistance. As long as we can stay above that blue line for the weekly, that is very, very, very good. Banks, look at this on the weekly chart. Big uh, um, ascending triangle, big breakout, boom, to the upside financials. Big symmetrical triangle, boom, to the upside. Very, very strong. I'm going to show you the monthly charts on all these. Monthly charts on the spider. Boom, look at this. All-time record highs. Dow, all-time record highs. But look at this. We have resistance coming up here on the diamonds or on the Dow. The NASDAQ. Look at this, warning sign, resistance, resistance, resistance. We're nearing resistance on the monthly chart also. Big time warning, that's why I have these up here, just warning areas to say, hey, warning, warning, this could be trouble. Small caps, looking good, boom, breaking out above the um, resistance levels. If we drop and we immediately come back, it could be a nasty little drop, guys. Banks monthly, boom, to the upside. Financials. Boom, I mean, looking very, very, very strong. Let's get into the dollar, crude oil, and gold and silver. I wanna get into US dollar here, look at the daily chart first. Down, 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 pop, but we're coming up to some resistance areas. So with the strength of the dollar, it's gonna put some pressure on US stocks. And if I go here to crude oil, look at this, we're big time resistance right now in crude oil on the daily chart. We go bam right up here to resistance. I'm expecting it to drop. That's why I have that um, there. That's that's just no good. If I go to the weekly chart here on the dollar, up 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 and away. Weekly chart on the dollar is looking very strong, so it's no good for stocks. And then on crude oil. I called it a buy a few weeks ago or a few days ago, and we continue higher. We're at a resistance point, though. What will it do at this resistance point? Before I get into gold and silver and the VIX, very important things I want to share with you guys here. Before I do that, Grok Trade. You can go to mentor at groktrade.com to leave us a message if you want to just talk more about mentoring and what it might look like. But you can watch the videos here you can we have stock picks that we do each and every week right here we have a chat room if you want to day trade with us each and every day right here we give you free access to try us out and if we go back here to gold 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 i'm gonna go to the daily chart first on gold i had to put a sell on gold i thought we'd have a short-term bottom started to go higher but as of as of friday Big drop. I'm going. I uh, had to put a sell here. Tick higher on, on um, the volume. If you go to silver, put a sell on it. We're dropping, dropping, dropping now. So I think that we'll have a buy opportunity soon. But nonetheless, I have on a daily chart gold and silver on a short term sell. Short term sell. And if I go to the weekly chart, look at this. I called it a sell a few weeks back. We drop, 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 drop. But things that drop fast will pop. Things will drop fast, will rise fast. So I'm expecting that to happen. Silver, 
it, we dropped. We're at an area of support. We get a pop. I, I'm calling it a buy on a weekly uh, silver buy that could just turn into a bear flag or a bear pullback. So I have to be very careful with this one. I could turn around and reverse it quickly if it decides to do so. And if I look at the monthly chart on gold, we're just going down, 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 down. We have a lot of open space below to head down. I mean, gold could be taking a hit on the monthly chart. Silver, down, 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 but we stalled at the 20 month moving average. I'm thinking that silver on a long term position would be very smart because this looks like it's ready to go higher like we have put in our low vix let's go to the vix chart it's a falling wedge see this falling wedge it's bearish bullish divergence it looks like it's ready to go higher if the fear goes higher or the vix or fear goes higher the markets will be going down we are set up technically for for the fear to increase and if I look here at the VIX here, this is the VIX index, not the ETF, VIX index, same thing, falling wedge. This dude looks like it is ready to go bullish. Ready to go bullish, that would be bad for the markets if that were to happen. Let's see what the weekly is sharing with us. This is the VIX ETF, and that was a falling wedge. But look how we dropped. We're continuing to drop here. I could take this line, take it right here. Uh, so anyway, very, very uh, bullish out there in the markets. And if you go to the VIX weekly, we're just dropping. We have more dropping uh, downside opportunity here in the markets. We have a lot of downside opportunity. So there we are. Go here to Freeline Trading Education. If you're new to trading, you're new with us, put in the information here and we'll get you six trading tutorials that'll help you out. 101 Trading Education, free of charge. You'll get six courses, several hours worth of information right here. You get it free at freeonlinetradingeducation.com. And for the more advanced, savvy traders that want to take the, you know, that want to do things correctly, grocktrade.com. Check out all the different goodies we have here. They are perfect for you. If you like it, like it.